We all love the Amazon honeymoon period. It is a short period of time where Amazon will give you an unfair advantage compared to the incumbents. In terms of listing visibility, that allows you to get an abnormal bump in impression and sales. Navigating through this period successfully would mean that your product could be potentially permanently ranked on the top. While messing up this honeymoon period can mean a huge drop off in sales. But what if you can get a second chance at the honeymoon period? Yes, it is possible. In the following video, I will go through step by step in how you could reset the honeymoon period for your listing. And if you want to see how this is done, I suggest you to stay tuned. I'm Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and also the founder of Seller Metrics, an Amazon marketing agency. And if you are interested in content such as this one, where we talk about the latest Amazon FBA news, tips and hacks, I invite you to subscribe. Okay, let's just be honest, getting your product launched and navigating through this honeymoon period in just one shot is actually quite difficult. There is probably a very high chance that you will need to iterate in terms of your product, your listing to get everything right. So I think this honeymoon reset will work really well in situations where you need to make that one update to your image, A plus content, either a marketing angle or even a product defect. So how do we actually refresh your honeymoon period? It's going to be basically three steps. Number one, you're going to download your listing metadata via the category report. Number two, you're going to do a hard delete on your existing listing using the old inventory flat file that I will just, I will show you how it's done. And I also link the actual file in the description below. You are going to wait one hour after the delete. And the third and final step is to re upload your listing metadata that you downloaded in step one and using a future launch date dated one day into the future. Okay. So now let's just go right into it and step you through how this is done. The first thing uh, we're going to do, we're going to make sure we download the listing metadata. In my example, I'm going to do a honeymoon refresh of my one active product right here. This is the SKU of the product and uh, how you actually download your listing metadata, right? Is that you are going to go to reports, inventory reports, and then you're going to download, you're going to go to category uh, listing report, request report. And then within like maybe like one minute, uh, it's ready to download. I already got this done. So download the file and uh, make sure you delete all the listings. So you see, like I have all these listing here. Uh, so what I want to do is just delete all the listing here. That is not this ASIN right here and also the SKU. So I got like the file here and here uh, under SKU, I'm going to do does not contain. And then that would be the SKU that I want to refresh. Basically, you are going to delete everything else. Yeah. And uh, once you uh, select all and the, all you have left is the listing that you want to do the honeymoon reset for. And uh, let's just save this uh, specific spreadsheet. I'm just going to call it um, listing meta data. And then this is the SKU of the products. So I'm doing example for only one product. Um, obviously you do multiple product. It might be a little bit more complicated, but basically the principles still apply, right? So basically you can keep the metadata of all the, like the listings that you want to do the honeymoon reset for, right? So the step two, where you actually do a hard delete on the listing, you could have the metadata ready and just real upload it uh, on step three. So basically that's the reason why you want to download the metadata. So you could easily build up the listing back up again. This file right here, I saved it. So on the last step, we're going to work on re uploading this listing back up. Okay, so the second part, probably the most important part, is that we're going to perform a hard delete on the listing. So how do we perform a hard delete? A hard delete, we're going to use the flat file. So we're going to go under the catalog, add products via upload, and you're going to download a uh, spreadsheet. But unfortunately, nowadays, this uh, template to do a hard delete is no longer there. The actual template that we are going to use is this one right here. And uh, you can see that uh, this is like a um, one that we will use. And this is like the new template. And uh, the new template is a little different. And uh, if you actually try the hard delete using the new template, you're going to get a lot of errors. So uh, I have the old template uh, ready for you. So if you actually um, you know, want to have a copy of the old template, uh, I will link it below. Yeah, it will be much easier. So to actually do the hard delete, you can use this uh, old template flat file. You're going to plunk in the SKU, which I already have. And then under the add column I, add and delete, you're going to put X. X is the hard delete value in this flat file. So it does not really quite say it under the instruction, but X is a hard delete. So that would be right here, completely from the system, right? So this is the option that you will select to have like a fresh 
delete of your listing that would mean that all your previous sales history would be wiped so let's do that so we have to like file uh, create for us so that would be this file i am gonna upload this file and you can see my listing right here let's just like refresh it if i do the hard delete you can see this particular listing disappear off the screen so let's upload it right here so we're on step two where we would do a hard delete on the listing upload you're probably gonna wait like maybe like five minutes okay so i think there's an error zero um to zero zero of zero uh, and says done so let's download the processing report and see what it says okay so it's saying that it needs uh, a text format so we are going back to the actual file itself create a text format so the, how you actually do it is that save as and then you're gonna save as a text tab delimited save and then this is the file that we are going to try uploading again uh, so basically a lot of times you get the errors uh, so all you have to do to fix it is just follow the um, instructions on the errors most of the time it's pretty clear cut so i'm going to upload this file again and uh, let's see the results okay so i think we're done so it says uh it's one of one successful let's like let's see the actual status of the actual summary so okay one so it is successful in terms of submission. So we have one listing, one success. Um, so if we actually were to, yep, update the screen, you see that listing is now gone, right? So we have done a hard delete, but after we do the hard delete, we need to wait one hour for the listing to completely clear the Amazon system. So that's one part of the process that's very important. Make sure you wait at least one hour for me I prefer to do like 24 hours to make sure that all the data is white. But for this particular example, I am gonna, not going to wait one hour. And let's step through step number three, which is now that we've cleared out all the data on the back end, let's reconstruct the listing by uploading the metadata that we've downloaded in step one. So you see the file that we've downloaded. So that would be the metadata listing right here. This is the file that we are going to um upload again but we're gonna do a few things to the listing so this is the actual metadata so we are going to number one instead of partial update we are going to do full update i'm going to copy and paste it this time yep okay and then another important thing that you need to do is that you are going to set the launch date one day in the future. And how you actually would do that, you are going to all the way to the end into the right column, expand it. And then uh, you are gonna find the, let's see, launch. There we go. So that would be this column right here. And what you are going to do, you can enter a day into future in the following format, day, day, year, year, year. So for me today is, um, the fourth, I am going to set it to seventh, oh five, and two thousand and twenty-three. So that's one day into the future. So that is the two things that you need to do to this metadata file. Uh, so that's number one. Make sure your update and delete uh, value is full update. And then the second thing is to make sure that your launch date is one day into the future. Okay, so um, this uh, file is now ready to re-upload. So you can see the metadata that I just created. I am going to re-upload it and then we are going to wait. If it's um, completed successfully, when we refresh this particular screen right here with this SKU, the listing should show up, but it's also going to show up with the launch date in the future so when it actually is created uh, again it's gonna status as inactive but it's gonna say that it's gonna be active in a future date which would be july 5th okay now it's done right so we download the metadata re-uploaded the data to have it start on a future date so you can see right now that it is inactive but it's gonna launch in the future date so i'm gonna re see, refresh it and see if i can actually see the future date yeah it doesn't quite show the future date but uh once i think once we refresh it let me see still incomplete let's just 
I think it's still being constructed. It needs time. But once it properly updates, it's going to say that it's going to be active in July 5th. And what you can do after when your listing becomes live is that number two, right? So basically you want to put your pedal to the metal in terms of getting as much traffic and getting as much conversion as possible. So this way, when your honeymoon period starts, you could basically do your best to rank up by number one, you could lower the price to as low as possible to kind of increase the conversion and two, get more aggressive in your Amazon PPC to make sure that you get your traffic to make the most of your honeymoon reset period, right? So getting traffic by, you know, increasing your PPC and then improving your conversion by lowering the price that should allow you to kind of get an extra push into your organic traffic to make the most of this period. Okay, so that is how you reset your honeymoon period. Give it a try and I would love to hear back the results. If you want a copy of the spreadsheet templates that I've used in this demo, uh, you can click on the link below to get a copy of that. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you're an Amazon seller and want to grow your business schedule, call with me in the link below. Or if you actually want me to actually do the honeymoon reset, that is also the service that I provide. Until the next video drop, happy selling.